Hey guys, EVP Man here. Now in today's video, we're gonna talk about how you can transform any part of your home into a home theater. Uh, and for that matter, if you're camping, you can have a home theater experience too. <laughs> we're talking about uh, this little guy here. This is the XJimmy Halo Plus. Uh, 1080p, right? 80 to 200 inch image. Crazy, 200 inch image anywhere because guess what? It's battery power too. Let's go ahead and check it out. So you heard that right. Today we're taking a look at the XJimmy and this is the Halo Plus. It's a 1080p projector which HDR10 that has the ability to project anywhere from 80 to 200 inch screens. We're talking 900 ANSI lumens. So it's gonna work well in environments where um, it's not direct light, but you do have some shade or like you can see in my living room, uh, you don't have a lot of direct sunlight. So it works really well. Now the other cool thing about the LED lamp here is that you have a 25,000 hour LED lamp. Auto keystoning and autofocus, which means that most projectors, they require to be placed in a specific area and have an obstacle-free environment. This projector is smart. It has obstacle avoidance, which if you have like a frame on the side, it kind of shifts over to the side. And if you have a frame, it auto adjusts to the frame. So it has something called auto keystoning and auto focus. Now, if you wanna use this for gaming, it also has a low latency mode. We're talking about 26.5 milliseconds gaming. So it does well in gaming, but I'll tell you, in my test, from a gaming perspective, it's not for a, I would say an aggressive or someone who is like, I don't wanna say pro gamer, but a prosumer gamer, someone who is like really into it. Um, this may not perform to the degree that you'd want, but it does do it really well. Um, as a dad, playing with my kids, this is definitely gonna be something that I can use. It can play 2.5 hours on the battery, 2.5 hours. It has five watt Harman Kardon sound, so it sounds great. And this is literally a smart TV inside this little package. It packs Android TV. So all your streaming services, think about how many apps you have on Android, all of them are available here with this remote also that allows you to watch content. So again, this is a little TV. Digital, um, when it comes to the audio formats, DTS, right, HD, Dolby Audio, and to make things even more crazy about this little guy, we're talking about it supports 3D viewing too. So if you have a 3D movie, you can do that as well. HDMI has an HDMI here in the back. Also has USB um, as a connection. It has uh, audio, um, like a headphone out. And like I mentioned, it's portable. All right, so let's take a look at the footprint of this projector because this projector is really small. So first of all, here in the bottom, you do have a mounting option. You have this little kickstand right here that allows you to change the angle of the projector. As you flip it here in the back, you'll see this is where all your connectivity is, has HDMI. Uh, you know, if you wanna connect something on, on the back, I'm using the Android TV built in, there's no need for me. USB-A here, has your headphone out, right? It also has Bluetooth, right? So that's an option for you too. Power, and then it has uh, the plug-in power. You can see here the actual Harman Kardon logo as well as the grill for the audio. The front, as you can see here, here's your lens. And then over here, you see that other side. Now on the very top here, you do have some controls and I still have the plastic on it, right? But what, well, you know what, we'll put them back here so you can see everything that's going on here. You do have the ability to set, and we'll flip this around, you have the ability to set volume, play, pause, right? And the volume plus. So you have some nice controls here on top. You also then have a cool remote. So we'll bring the remote in as well. So here you have an XJimmy remote with also um, Google type uh, you know, options. So if you wanna use your voice, you can use your voice too. Uh, this thing performs incredibly well. So let's go ahead and check out what it looks like in my living room and why you may wanna consider this as, again, something that you can use even for tailgating if that's what you're into. Now, before going through the details and really going into the depth of this projector, one of the things I really like about this is how this projector conforms to your room and it really makes setting up a projector really, really easy. So if you wanna have this in a large setting like I have, it's gonna work. It is 1080p, but it does a fantastic job. If you have this in a dorm setting, you could do this as well. And what I love about this solution is that it really it's not about how does the projector fit in your room, it's about how the projector can accommodate your room. And let me just show you why. So you'll notice here we're in this keystone correction setting area and I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. And this is how imperfect this image is, right? You can see how it's aligned. Uh, notice what it just did. It automatically adjusted itself to maximize, uh, again, 
its viewing capabilities. It knows that I have a screen, it's smart, and it basically adjusted itself to that screen. So now when I come out of this, and we'll get out of this completely, you'll notice this is, again, what the projector has adjusted, and it's really doing fantastically well. Look at how far in the bottom, all the way to the top, this image is actually um, coming through. So great video experience when it comes to being able to adjust it so quickly. So if you are ever concerned about a projector and concerned about how easy it is to set up, this is by far the easiest one that I've ever tested. Now before going through and taking a look at some of the parts of the image quality, just want to highlight you know, some of the settings that you have here. Uh, this is ran running Android natively, right? So you, you can see the background. This is literally a TV in a box. It has everything you need to plug it in and start consuming and streaming content. You do have the ability to clear the app, so if you notice that you're noticing some speed issues. You have keystone correction, which is what you just saw me do just a couple seconds ago. And it's just one button and it's fixed. You also then have a image mode. So in this area, you can determine, are you watching a movie? Are you watching football? And you can notice that you can uh, work with HDR uh, settings to get the uh, best uh, color quality, office type settings, and then you have HDR as well gaming settings so if you want to do some gaming and really when you do this gaming you have to have something connected to it and it's going to try to make sure that it keeps up with your game and then you have a custom setting so we'll go back to the movie setting just we'll leave it right there and then you can see um, you know what the contrast is and then as i start changing it i can just determine what type of contrast i have uh, right now it was medium i can change it to strong you could also tr uh, enable or disable um, hdr right? So uh, we'll go ahead and leave that on, on auto. And then over here, any kind of motion compensation, that's as there is very fast moving content, it can then adjust itself to support that. You do have sound settings that you can manipulate as well. You'll notice that it does support uh, DTS sound quality. It also, uh, if, you, if you're looking at the sound effects, you have uh, the ability to determine what type of content you're viewing. Again, here, either music, either sport. And, and it sounds relatively loud. Like if you want to take this camping, if you want to have this outside, or if you have it in that dorm room setting, this is going to work as well. Uh, your volume balance and then your, your sound output can be uh, selected here. You do have the ability, and this is the cool thing for something so small, it does have 3D video support, a sleep timer, and then you can go into all your settings. Now, for those of you who are curious about the performance of the projector, again, this is going to be a projector that's going to be ideal for dark room settings. So this is going to be fantastic for night for camping, um, and as I mentioned, the dorm room setting. But even though uh, I think that this does incredibly well performing in those dark settings, it does also a bang up job in daylight. You'll notice right now um, what uh, type of video quality I'm getting. Just by playing this, you can see how the light is on both sides uh, of my windows, and you see the kind of color that's coming through. Yes, you, as you notice that there's probably a little bit of the black being washed out, it's more like a gray. Uh, this is due to, again, how bright it is in this room. But as night comes in, those colors are gonna become dark. It's gonna become ink black. You're gonna have all your colors will start to pop as soon as we get into those different settings. So this, again, is gonna give you a great, um, again, portable experience um, with audio and also uh, again, with video quality that surprisingly fits in such a small package. Now, for those of you who are curious about how much audio is being pushed through this little projector, well, check this out. Let's go through this audio test. Isn't that crazy? Uh, this thing can get loud. It can get loud. So uh, Nilda and I have actually sat down. We've watched a movie on this. And you can watch a movie in a family setting. Uh, some, some projectors that I've reviewed that are small like this, 
really don't have the throatiness to be able to, uh, for you to be able to enjoy something. But with all of us now streaming, you know, our content more and more, you know, this is an Android uh, projector. It's, it has Android on it. It's going to give you access to everything that the Android ecosystem can, which means all your streaming solutions. You can watch TV. You can watch movies. It's just fantastic to have something so small and so easy to set up. So guys, that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.